first 20 minutes, and the former Palace striker Dave Swindlehurst went close after Brooking and Pike had created the opening. But it was the second division side, Palace, who took the lead after 27 minutes with their first dangerous attack. The cross came from Mabbott, and Giles had two attempts before McCulloch forced it in for a 1-0 lead. Just before half-time, West Ham should have equalised. Barnes created the chance, and Swindlehurst had Wood at full stretch. It looked all over for West Ham, but then the old firm of Lampard and Brooking combined to set up the equaliser. It was a goal much like the first, taking three attempts before Swindlehurst beat Wood. In the last minute, Vince Hilaire had a difficult chance to take Palace into the fifth round, but Park saved to ensure the replay on Tuesday. The hammer's grip was as firm as Orr's early shot. Once more, it was Brooking, the master tactician, who dictated policy, allowing his strikers to plague Palace. Though this time, West Ham soon turned pressure into capital. Now Orr was the provider, giving Pike time and space to shoot. They took the unwitting efforts of Palace defender Gilbert to ensure West Ham's lead after 17 minutes. The visitors rarely ventured outside their own half as they struggled in confusion to survive the aerial assault. It was much the same in the second half. Barnes, who pestered Palace with his pace, capping an exciting display with his first goal of the season. So West Ham at least managed to avoid joining the First Division's growing list of cup casualties. With their latest discovery, Bobby Barnes taking them into the next round with a flourish. <coughs> Jeremy Thompson, ITN 